Hey, afternoon, AJ. Uh, you you talked to us back in May about how you're wanting to work on everything to become a, a better player. Uh, what's at the top of the list now that you're here in camp uh, and, and and able to pick up what you're doing? First off, uh, uh, it definitely had to be like just try to get in the best shape ever. You know, uh, be able to go through the entire game, make my routes look the same. You know, uh, so I definitely got to be well conditioned, and and that's exactly what we co we, we preach on here with the Titans. That's, that's a key thing with with Coach Brave. So, uh, Josh Glenn, Titans Twitter. Hey, AJ, I'm um, wonder. You know, most of us uh, know about uh, you and and uh, Corey and Adam, and maybe a little bit about Khalif. But wonder if you could talk a little bit about the guys who are battling for the maybe some of the lower spots uh, at the wide receiver position, uh, you know, any guys that, that stand out to you um, and for, you know, for any reason, any, any impressions they've made? Are, are you, are you meaning like the rookies or? Yeah. Uh, you know, rookies or undrafted free agents, even guys like, you know, a Cody Hollister who was around last year. Um, to be honest, everybody, everybody looking really good. You know, uh, we, we really haven't got, got a chance to get on the field live yet with, with everybody, but we all been working. We all been putting in work, helping each other out. But I definitely would say, um, and everybody's looking real good, man. And everybody looking ready to go. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the rookies too, because they coming in and they know what to do. They know where to be. So that gives them advantage so they can just play fast. And I think. Okay, and, and uh, one other topic I was going to ask you about. I know you worked out uh, a good bit with Logan Woodside. What are your uh, impressions of, of Logan, and have they changed, you know, since you've known him from uh, from last year? Um, Logan has definitely been a hard worker. You know, uh, every time every time I hit him up, throw, oh, he down. Yeah, he doesn't hesitate. You know, uh, I'm, I'm building that confidence with him too. You know, God forbid anything happen to Ryan, but if so, I, I definitely still be in good hands because uh, he's a leader. You know, he loves to work, man. And he'll be he'll do just fine. Chris Harris. Hey AJ, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? Just fine. I was just wondering. I'm sure I would imagine at least you've been following along with everything that's going on with uh, with college football right now. Have you had any conversations with some of your buddies back back in school who are still there, just to kind of see how they're dealing with it? And then if you can like even think if if you were in this position, you know, 18 months ago, what you would have thought. Um, I have I have been talking to some of my friends back back at school. Uh, to be honest, I'm just hoping for the best. You know, they they they're trying to figure out a way for us to play. Hope they figure out a way for them to play too as well. Um, you know, because that's big sitting out a whole year. You know, uh, you can work out all day, but until you, uh, unless you're really out there playing, you don't really get better. You know, you, you know, so you, you got to be out there. You know, I hope for the best for those young guys and. To be honest, I don't, I don't even know how I deal with it or something because I wouldn't know what to do. I'd probably go play baseball, but everybody don't have that option, you know, so. Thank you. Uh, Jim, oh, go ahead, Chris. No, nope, that was it. Just saying thank you. Uh, Jim Wyatt. Hey, AJ, you talked uh, at the beginning just about being in shape this year. You know, last year you're on the, I guess, the pre-draft visits. You had to get ready for the combine, a lot of other stuff going on in addition to football. What What, what is your – conditioning, your shape, your football readiness like heading into this year compared to maybe where you were this time last year? I'm definitely in a better place, better, better place mentally too as well. You know, uh, last year I was flying and going places and I never really just could just sit still and just put in the work, you know. So uh, definitely, man, I, I got time. I had time to really get my feet up under me, you know, really put in the work and, and, and get myself in best shape as, as possible coming into camp because, you know, it, it's only going to get tougher. So. You know, we're going to Denver. You know, the air is really thin up there. So, what what is the best advice somebody has given you since you've been in the league? Um, definitely still had to be what Tom Brady told me. Um, work on the things you need. You know, you need improvement on. Um, so you won't have no weakness. Everybody works hard, but but everybody knows what their weakness is. So work on your weakness, so you have no weakness. And it's credit to him and uh, how how uh, his long career and everything he didn't, he didn't did. So, you know, it's all a famer. Uh, Paul Carsey. Hey, AJ. Um, wondering, with with everybody now having a year of film on you, how do you expect defenders to approach you 
um, and 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 what will you have to then counter? Um, everybody got everybody got film on everybody. You know, uh, they still got to come out. We still got to come out and play at the end of the day. You know, uh, like a lot of guys like like Julio Jones, Michael Thomas, them guys be. Everybody know they coming. You just hey, you still got to go out and play. You still got to go out and defend it. And then that's that's my approach with it. You know, regardless of of the film and what I did last year, like don't nobody care about that. You got to come out and play every week. You know, and 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 that's what I learned uh, last year. We is week in and week out. You mentioned uh, having your routes at the end of the game look like at the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. Is, is there anything you uh, you noticed about last year that that was a, a point of emphasis? Um, I definitely just just say fatigue and, and uh, fourth quarter. I definitely can just like I said, try to get in the best service I can. You know, uh, because the fourth quarter is big, and you know, uh, watching looking back on some film, and I love some plays out there because I was a little tired or something like that. So you know, just trying to just be all all around complete. You know, and, and leave nothing out there. Thank you, uh, Mike Giardi. AJ, uh, James Jones, who played in the league for a long time, was on NFL Network, and he said you're going to lead the league in receiving yards and touchdowns. I'm curious, is that is that realistic? And and do you set specific individual goals like that for yourself? I never t- I never tell uh, my goals before the year, you know. Uh, but why not? Why 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 not me? You know, uh, that's that's my approach with anything. You know, uh, other guys do it, so why not? You know, but uh, that, that's as far as it goes for me. That's all I say about that. Uh, Dave Beauclair. Hey, Jay, on the, the idea of making your routes all look the same, what, what's the key to that? Is it like your stride? Is it your shoulder position? Like, like how, do you, how do you keep a, a defensive back off balance that way? Definitely just not giving, just not giving little hints here and there, you know, uh, making like my pad level the same all, the whole way through the whole route. You know, just not putting on your turn signal before you turn, you know, it, you know so. Uh, Buck? Hey, AJ, uh, I've seen Tannehill, or at least last season when we were, you know, things were normal. I've seen Tannehill, you know, come to your locker sometimes and talk with you after practice or before practice uh, to refine certain things, go over details with you. Where would you say that he helps you most at uh, as a player? Um, um, he's definitely leading on the field. Um, but I would definitely say it's the influence off the field. Um, how, how he talked to me off the field in the locker room and, and him be leading by example, just being a pro, telling me to be a pro all the time because a lot of guys looking at me, you know, so um, I always be a pro. And uh, um, like I said, he's a great leader. And, and de- most definitely when we on the field, he demands what he wants and he got to be in his right spot and he deliver, he going to deliver a good ball. So, uh, Terry? AJ, you've talked about wanting to build on last year and all. Do you feel like that you're going to be more of a marked man by opposing defenses? And and uh, how do you react to that? What and does that motivate you? Um, I kind of go back to uh, like the other guys I said, like Julio Jones, Michael Thomas, DeAndre Hopkins, all those guys, man. Every, every time they line up, the defense know where they are. They, I mean, but you still got to you still got to cover and you still you still got to play. That's what it comes down to. Regardless of um, if I'm if I'm marked and they point me out every play, that's that's fine. That's, we still got to play. I still got to do my job. They got to do their job. And, you know that's that's my approach with it. So yeah, that doesn't bother me. Uh, Luke, AJ, a name that we've heard a lot about this off season from some of your coaches and some of your teammates is Rashard Davis, and he's someone that we saw a little bit of toward the end of the season, especially in that Texans game. But, but what have been your impressions of him working with him and in practice in the past and, and I guess recently uh, getting back with him in that receiver room? Um, R- Rashard has really been on point this, this whole virtual spring. He's been on point in the, the means. Um, he's, been, he's been really sharp in and, uh, and the routes. Once we got together, uh, the routes are, are looking better than ever. Um, I definitely feel like he's ready to take the next step um, for the team. You know, um, I really feel like he's headed in the, uh, the right direction. Teresa Walker. AJ, when did uh, you get that advice from Tom Brady? Was it last August or after the playoff game? And you mentioned the weaknesses. How long is your list of your perceived weaknesses? 
Um, I um I learned. Um, no, he told me that he told me that during uh during camp, one day after practice, and um and it's and it's always something. It always something that comes up that you didn't know that was a weakness, and and you just gotta you just gotta work through it. And and it's day to day. It, it never stops. It's day to day, and you you find something new to work on each and every day. That is my approach with it. Uh, last one, uh, John Glennon. Sorry, did you tell me, Robbie, that my connection's going in and out? Yeah, uh, last one for you. Okay. Yeah, AJ, um, I'm, I'm not forecasting this at all for you, but but the words sophomore slump, what, what do they mean to you? Uh, and does that kind of thing keep you motivated uh, so that you don't have uh, a sophomore slow? Uh, each and every day, I come out and try to be better than I were yesterday. I don't look at all that. You know, I, I really don't care about it. You know, uh, people are going to say whatever they're going to say. You know, so um, it doesn't really phase me. I mean, so it is what it is.